A couple of weeks ago, I've uh, had the pleasure to unveil the latest Verkada product, the GC31 Cellular Gateway. Uh, I give you an idea of the main differences between the indoor and the outdoor version, but in today's session, I wanted to unbox the indoor one and then show you how easy it is to configure and come on. So let's go. <clears throat> Here we have the well-known Verkada recyclable packing and once we open it up you'll see the main cellular gateway with the two antennas uncoupled so all you need to do is take the stickers off screw the antennas and you are ready to go as you can see here you have the status LED on top in the middle, then you have a signal strength indicator as well. While on the back, you will see the Verkada SIM inserted in slot number two, uh, slot number one being empty. It's really up to you if you want to utilize the Verkada SIM, if you want to bring your own, etc. All the combination will work. You'll also have two output ports. They can provide a total of 60 watts of combined power and talking about power the way to power this is directly from the outlet so behind the mount and the qr code that will show you to the manual we'll just have to lift this in order to uncover the ac adapter remember this is included with the indoor version the outdoor version does not have a power adapter because it has three different ways to power it. You can get this one, remember, separately, not in the box. You can use PoE or you can use the terminal blocks if you have something like a car battery or a solar array. Last but not least, you get a install kit that contains not only a screwdriver but also wall mounts and anchors. So I'll just put everything we don't need in the box. I'll grab the device itself, a regular Ethernet cable. And also a test camera that we can use as part of this video. Now that I have everything plugged in, I'm just going to go ahead and add the cellular module just like any other Verkada device by clicking the waffle, add devices, scan the QR code, and then click add device. A couple of things to remember here. First of all, these days Verkada devices go in this unassigned state uh, to allow you to add all of them up and then you will be able to click one or multiple and then assign them to sites or subsites while configuring them. And from here, I can click setup. You will see the name here. I will create a new site, a new test site for me, and I'll just give it a location and I'll leave it to properly connect to command. The second type thing I wanted to mention is that if you plug in any devices downstream and the gateway is not actually claimed into command, yeah, it will not actually forward traffic. So uh, the camera, for example, will be flashing blue to let you know that although it is operational, it cannot connect to the Verkada cloud. So uh, I gave the device about a minute to configure its SIM and become active. And uh, here it is. It is uh, green in command. I can see two bars of uh, signal strength. Uh, and from this menu here, I'll be able to get a better understanding of what's happening in not only in real time, but also historically when it comes to traffic, uptime, latency, and also signal. I can also see that I have connected a Verkada device downstream. I know exactly the port, its IP and MAC address. Remember the gateway will become a de facto DHCP server. And can also see that it consumes about two watts. Now, the only thing I need to do is to go back again to uh, the waffle to add devices and then enter the serial number of the camera.
and then I'll place the camera in the same site as at the cellular gateway. And then as you can uh, see here, I'm moving in front of the camera. The camera is currently updating its firmware as it has sat there for on the shelf for uh, quite a while now. But uh, this uh, is to prove how easy it is to spin off your own infrastructure in case there is no access to a wired connectivity, but you have access to 4G. In my case, all I needed was a, a kettle cable, access to a wall outlet, and that's it. Even in this room here, on top of the 17th floor in the middle of the office, where there's barely any connectivity, I still managed to get a camera up and running. And so can you. Remember, this device is not camera specific. You can run any sort of Verkada hardware on it. If you're planning to run Verkada cameras, remember that the device will know about them and will expect an additional data license for each camera if you are planning to use the Verkada SIM as the primary way out. In different jurisdictions, you might find cheaper deals. So you might want to go ahead and remove the Verkada SIM and utilize your own. Uh, but remember, the SIM is there to give you the option and also make sure that the device is plug and play so you'll be able to configure it as it starts. As always, if you have any other questions, do get in touch with me.